I think, yes, there is such a thing as curveballs in music, <laughs> in ensemble playing, in chamber music. Uh, just to be playful, I guess, you try to surprise the other. Uh, the trick is not to do it in a destructive way. No. Uh, it's a curveball, not a snowball. <laughs> and, and we are reacting to the, to, to the hall, to the pianos, which are, are different for every concert. Um, to how we feel that day. I mean, it's a little the, the, those small differences. That's what makes it alive. That's that's what you know makes it a creative process. Um, but I would say that I really sit down at the concert and think tonight I'm going to do something very different. I mean, that's not how it happens. It, it happens very spontaneously. Uh, there would be small tempo changes, it's small coloristic, uh, you know, well sometimes bigger also uh, changes according to the circumstances um, and. And it's fun to, to, to be, be playing more in that way. And I also, now with having done so many times, I know uh, there are certain places that I very much look forward to, um, like uh, this big climax in the Danza Club. I know how much Mark loves, <laughs> loves me going, you know, going bananas in the bass. Uh, <laughs> and he does. <laughs> and you, you, you love that place so much, and I, I, I do too. Um, and you know, there, there's this uh, this joy of having this this, this incredible music and you know, to to be doing this together. Great joy.